Okay. Now, we started our ASM instance, our plus ASM instance, and it says no disk groups mounted. The reason for that is that, yes, we did tell ASM uh, the disks that we wanted it to use, but we didn't put them in what's called a disk group. Before an Oracle instance can use ASM disk managed by ASM, they need to be in a disk group. Now, for my sysadmins out there, both Unix, Linux, and Windows, what does this remind you of? Well, this reminds me of the concept of a volume group in AIX and Linux, and I can only draw analogies of them because those are the two OSs that I know really well. Okay, they use a thing called a volume group, which concatenates many disks into one logical entity. Okay, ASM is the same thing. Disks need to belong to a, um, where files in our case are partitions need to belong to a disk partitions need to belong to a disk group in order for ASM to use them and distribute the space and manage it for um, regular Oracle databases. So, if we type in select path comma um, mount underscore status from v dollar sign ASM disk. And yes, an ASM instance has v dollar sign views just like the, uh, but they're really fixed tables, just like the um, a regular Oracle instance has. So select path, comma, mount underscore status from v dollar sign ASM underscore disk. And we will see the three disks because we put an asterisk there. It looked in the ASC when the, when the ASM instance started. It looked in ASM disks directory and it saw the three files: ASM disk one, two, and three. And we're going to use them, but they're currently in a closed status. They're not mounted, which means that they're not in use. Okay, that they're not ready to be used. And to mount them and make them use, we need to mount them into a disk group. And we do that with a following command: create disk group. We'll call it dgroup1, this group1. You can call it whatever you want. Normal redundancy. Don't worry about that now. Disk. And now we list the files we want it to use. And we don't have to use all of them. And to prove that, we'll only use one of them. C colon slash ASM disks slash ASM disk1 dot ASM. So we're saying create disk group, dgroup1, normal redundancy disk. And we're saying use this file in this ASM disk one dot ASM in this directory. See colon slash ASM disks. Oops, spelled that wrong. Okay. Oh, sorry, my fault. My fault. That's right. Um, a lot of redundancy here, so it requires at least two disks for redundancy. Sorry. And uh, to learn more about that, please go ahead and please just uh, read up on um, ASM or watch my other ASM videos where I really get into uh, um, redundancy and whatnot. Okay, so ASM would always want two disks or two partitions, disk partitions. Okay, now we go ahead and we shut down our ASM instance just like we do, regular normal shutdown. ASM disk groups dismounted, automatically dismounts the disk groups, and it's just down the instance. Kind of like mounting and dismounting a control file, but not really. Now when we type in start up for our ASM instance, it will automatically it will start the ASM background processes for us, which it did. Okay. But you'll notice that it did not it did not mount the disk group automatically. Well, but the disk group exists. How do we mount our disk groups? Well, what you do typically is you go into your Aura file, init plus asm.aura, and you add another parameter, and this parameter is called asm underscore disk groups equals and the name of the disk group, d group one. Okay, so when the instance ASM instance starts, he'll read his inst his uh, instance parameter file, and he'll see that there's an ASM underscore disk groups equals the name of the disk group, and he'll see that that, that disk group exists, i.e., it's made up of of multiple disks, files, partitions, whatever, and he'll start it. Okay, so save our file. We view the contents of our file. Okay, connect by SQL plus. Down our ASM instance. Okay. 
and we start it up and watch what happens this time. ASM disk groups mounted because we specified the disk group in disk groups in the parameter file with the ASM underscore disk groups parameter. Okay, so disk groups mounted. And if we type in select name comma state comma total underscore MD from V dollar sign ASM disk group, and again that's select name comma state comma total if I spell it right underscore MB for megabytes from V dollar sign ASM underscore disk group we will see G group 1 the name of the disk group it's in a mounted state and it and it is 600 meg because we put two 300 meg files into it okay you could also say select name state and path from V dollar ASM disk okay and you'll see all three of these. You see ASM disk one disk. You'll see that ASM disk one has its own has an ASM uh, name, an Oracle specific name assigned to it, D group zero, and and disk two has D group one one assigned to it. Norm. That's how we know it's in the disk group. It tells us what disk group it's in and what disk in the disk group it is. So if we were to add another disk or partition file, whatever you want to call it, to to the to disk group one, we get a D group. Uh, one underscore two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. Uh, ASM disk three does not have a D group whatever in it, bec uh, meaning that it's not part of a, of a of a group of disks. It's not part of a disk group, so it's available. We can use it. So out of the 900 meg that we allocated from our operating system perspective with the ASM tool for ASM storage, um, uh, 300 meg out of 900 are available. I mean, yes, that's correct. So I check that. <laughs> okay. Well, that's how you create an ASM um, an ASM instance and and uh, create a disk group. Okay. Thank you.